All right, if you've made it this far, congratulations. You have made it through uh, the three types of transformations that we've talked about, uh, three different things we can do to a parent function to uh, convert it into some new function. And those three types of transformations are, again, translations, uh, vertical stretches or compressions, and reflections. So we're going to talk about what happens when we combine all three. So let's do an example. Let's say we have uh, our tried and true parent function of y equals x squared, and we're going to transform that into this new function. Uh, notice there are quite a few pieces to this. It says that g of x equals negative 3 times the quantity x plus 4 squared plus 1. We want to describe this transformation and see what it's going to do to our parent function. So let's take this piece by piece. Let's first start off with what's happening here inside the parentheses. We know if that we're adding or subtracting, that's a translation. We also know if that we are um, adding or subtracting a value to our x-coordinates, that's going to be a horizontal translation. We can also call that a horizontal shift. And we also need to mention uh, how many units we are moving and in what direction. Now remember, this was the one that I said you had to be a little careful about because uh, the signs are the opposite of what you might expect. If we have a horizontal shift and it's being added to x, that's actually a shift to the left. So we're shifting our parent function four units to the left. Oops. Let's see what we're also doing. We also have this plus one out here. That means we're going to have a vertical shift. And remember the signs when you're doing a vertical shift are what you would expect. So that's going to be up one unit. Uh, we have two more things going on. First of all, we have this uh, multiplication by a negative 3. So let's take care of the negative part first. And anytime you see a negative sign, uh, that's going to mean that there's some sort of reflection going on. And because uh, this negative sign um, is being applied outside of uh, what's being done to x, meaning it's outside the squaring part of this function, uh, that means we are applying that negative to all the y values. And if we're applying it to the y values, that means we're going to have a, f a reflection across the x-axis. And finally, we need to uh, take into account this value of 3 here. And we know that when we multiply, that means we are either stretching or compressing, uh, depending on the magnitude of what we're multiplying by. Because 3 is greater than 1, this is going to be a stretch. And so it's going to be called a vertical stretch uh, by a factor of 3. And that's really uh, all there is to it. You just have to make sure that you're counting for each piece of the transformation and describing uh, what that transformation does to your parent function.